Hey, good morning, people of God. It's another wonderful day. Yes, each day we got up in the morning and we can see the sunlight. It's a privilege. It's an awesome privilege. And I'm so thankful for today. Amen. This is Godly Godly Lifestyle. What are we doing today? Well, you know, I have to start with the yard chores. We have finished up devotion already. Just came out prior mountain. And uh, I have some in this bed over here, right behind me. I have some kalalo that I planted and um we just want to transplant them not much but we still going to transplant them and i have some tomatoes i don't know if they reach a the size to transplant as yet but if i'm going to transplant those if not we leave them give them a few more days and then we're going to transplant those and i have a little tray with some seeds i think we have um kalalo and papchal right so i'm going to be sowing some seeds today as well so that's my morning chore for this morning already feed the cows already the fishes amen um did some work in the gazebo so what you're seeing here now is just a continuation of the morning chores all right guys so stay with me stick with me and later on later on i'll be going down into ola but to vashmar what is vashmar vashmar is one of my uh spiritual child her name is Tashali to be exact, right? Tashali Richards or Tashali Cooper, I should say, married name Cooper. So Tashali does a wonderful business in Olaba. You know, I've been going in and out of Olaba, but I know you know Olaba is my town, all right? Yes, that's where the church is, that's where the Lord placed me. So I'm in and about Olaba in the days sometimes, you know, doing different stuff. So we're going to Vashmar today and we're going to visit her store today and we're going to look at the stuff that she has. Amen for sale so guys stay with me stick with me let's get into the garden bed and do some work follow me that's one sucker right there two sucker we try to do around three for today. I'm just leave the rest so they can get a little bit more well, yeah, we'll with this one. Have to use the hose. Put some water in that pool. Let's see if I can get this one down here. Yeah. A little bit deeper with it. See how dry that side is? Number three. Let me put number three right here. And again, the soil is so. So I have to put some more water in this hole. And guys, I don't know why people let it seem as if farming is a bad thing. It's a good thing when you can plant your own food. Yeah? I think Roger Clark once said. Uh, grow what you eat and eat what you grow right grow what you eat and eat what you grow but i'm not going to eat my child because of course i grow my hair <laughs> three four days they grow a little bigger then definitely i'm going to transplant them but this color look i give them another another three four days as well so let me kind of back up some soil because i mess with it so Kind of falling down. Alright, All right, so we're going to plant some seeds now and we get the tray and show you. We're going to plant and tell you why you have to sow them before you just put them in the earth. I'm going to tell you why. So the garden looking much better now. You can see that. Alright, so let me get this tray and I'm going to show you. Alright, guys, so here I have a sewing tray. And um, we're going to sow some seeds. We're going to be sowing some pap choy and some more color, all right? All right, so what's the purpose of this tree? I didn't know <laughs> till a couple of days ago. I, I sowed some pap choy and some color in the ground and they couldn't come. And I was wondering, what's going on with my pap choy? What's going on with my color? Then one of my friends came here and he said, no, you can't do them like that. We need to just put them in the dirt and we'll eat the seed. So when you put them into a plastic tray, you put it at a place that is protected where ants won't get into it to eat the seeds. So it's really, this is really to protect your seeds from ants, all right? 
so here I have some topsoil and this was a gift given unto me by a, one of my son at church and so because them know say pastor no know nothing about no planting and no farming and the microphone is my thing but you don't know you have to get active right so here we go look at you know come up in this area make sure that every pocket is filled Put a little bit more All these holes up, but after them I come, the way my bossy, I be stepping like when drunk or walking and at ashes like this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm telling you. All right, so I'm gonna get the seeds in, put some water on it, and mass it from the hand stem. All right, so. We're going to get the seeds in right after this all right so here we have the seeds now so uh these are the blue ones and these are the black ones honestly i don't know which is which one is color low one is pop chai if you know the difference you have um farming skills you have farming experience you know the difference comment down below and let me know but right now because i plant seed when them come i know what it is all right, so here you go. Let's go with the blue seeds first. All right, so I'm going to put like maybe around. No, no whole leaf. Because this thing going coming up here. It's going come. All right. Good. All right, guys. It took a little while, but we are actually finished. I got some help from my daughter, Mahalia. So we are actually finished. So we have pop choy and we have kalalo in this tray. So I just want to set it over here. So it's going to stay there for a few days and I'm going to water it. Uh oh. I think the watering works better when the pipe is turned on. Water pressure is so strong. Don't want to disturb the seeds too much. I actually have something for this. So tomorrow when I'm watering, I'm, I'm gonna be using that little thing. It spray very gently, very, very gently. This is too oh my god. So powerful. Alright guys, so I'm going to leave that for the next few days, I'll um, keep you updated, you'll see the progress as they come and you'll see when we transplanting to when we are cooking. So the peppers are coming very nice, look, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at this. Anyone want some peppers? Comment below and let me know, and I'll get it to you on the go. All right? So. So basically this is my garden shed um you know you keep little garden items in it come let me show you it's all ramsack and looking away now but this is a really garden shed so 
you know, we have some paint, some stuff, some stuff, your barrel, your little tools and your different, different things. So this is just my little store um, room that I keep my stuff in for the garden shed. Whoa, more peppers, look. Whoa. Look. Over here. I thought I was finished, but I'm just getting started. I still see one more. All right, guys. I see. When you sow, you reap. It's a principle. The law of sowing and reaping. Whatever a man plant, that he shall also reap. All right. And they look like cherry. Very nice. All right, guys, so I'm getting ready to leave now, but I'm not showering on the inside this morning. I'm showering on the outside. Actually, I have outdoor showers, and that's what I'm using. All right, so. All right, guys. So the morning chores are over. Hallelujah. And I'm out to all of us. Bye. See you later. Hey, all right, so you're gonna jump out of that and jump in at this so quick reach at Olaba. All right, so right now I'm at Vash Mars, all right, and I'm here with my spiritual daughter Tasha Lee Cooper. And wow, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So let me find the lady, not let me find the lady, let me find the lady, let me find the lady. She's all the way around here. Hey, Tasha Lee, what's up? What's hi, up? What's hi, up? What's pastor. up? Hi, Pastor. How are you? I am. I am great. All right, so you don't know we come to talk to you today. Okay. We come to take a testimony. Okay. Sir. And we come to feature what's going on at Vashmar because I hear that this is one of the hottest stores mm. in Olaba. In Olaba, yes, at Glendon yes. Court Plaza. Yes. I will come back to Gadi Gadi lifestyle. Amen. And today, as you know, I'm with one of my spiritual daughter, Tasha Lee Cooper, and I'm at her business place. What's the name of the business again? Vashmar's hair and accessories. Alright, so Vashmar ears and accessories. Alright. Alright, so um later on I'm gonna show you some stuff. We're gonna look at some stuff. We're gonna talk about some stuff, the items that she have. And I'm looking around right now. I'm telling you guys she has some wonderful items, but we'll leave that part for later. But right now, Tasha Lee, I need to dig into your business. <laughs> How many years you got saved now? Wednesday of this week has been five years. Wednesday of this week. So yes, this week sir. is going to be your anniversary. This Five, week is my anniversary. Oh, sorry. This week. Yes, Wednesday sir. of... Wednesday. The, today is Friday. Wednesday that just gone. Oh, Wednesday gone. Yes, it was your Was your anniversary. Yes, sir. So you're celebrating five years of um, Christianity. Yes, sir. All right. But, um, all right. So before we get into what's current, what did you used to do before you got saved? In terms of... What, sir? You all into your lifestyle. <laughs> okay. Tasha Lee lifestyle okay. before she got saved. Tasha Lee, before coming to Christ, I was a party girl. Party girl. Party girl. Did all the, as well, some of us said, did all the do's. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. Been there, done that. The whole piercing, the tattoos, you know, just living up, living up, you know, for the devil. You know, until, um, we had one week of meeting at church and I just decided that you know what I'm just going to I could have find normally you know you come to church say mm -hmm. the altar call and you find excuse you know you're not ready I'm not ready mm -hmm. that night I could have find no excuse the but, atmosphere but, but, wait, wait, was yeah but before you, yeah. you, you get there though because mm -hmm. we, we kind of running fast okay I realized that um well, I don't even want to get into that part yet. The part mm -hmm. I want to talk about, all right, you say it was a party girl. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, party girl to the extent where you used to go to like the, the dance and the parties, oh, them and just yeah. the raggedy oh. and stuff like that and drink up your liquor and do the things, then? Yes, sir. Um, even our building now mm -hmm. that we have, I heard it was once a club. It was once a club, and yeah, that you was used to party one there. of my party grounds. Wow! That's why sometimes <laughs> when I be worshiping church, I may get lost in a worship. And yes. I just remember the days when I used to go to, go to that place as a club, where me drink and junk. Drink and junk. Junk, junk, junk. To, me, to so, the so point you used to drink that hard. Sir, like you're drunk. Three Magnum and me gone. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
so watch this so watch this uh, so all right let, let me make the viewers understand what is going on so the building that we are in currently right now operating church it used to be a club and Tasha Lee used to party there in that same building yes never have no idea that God was going to save her and it is the same building she'll be worshiping in my God Almighty can you imagine that yes sir and I remember times when we leave in from that same club I remember one night me and Marlon went to a party at that club so your Marlon was together at that time yes sir and then me and him used to do the road sir at, so, you, at, so, at, oh, at, so you and your husband you you guys been together from day one then Yes, sir, from party days, a party wow. days. We, 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 because we, I heard Marlon was a selector. Marlon was a selector. And I'm going to talk about him because I'm going to get his testimony separate, but I heard that he was a sound selector. Yes, sir, he was a selector. So, and remember. But watch this, watch this. So Marlon was a sound selector, and Marlon is the one who engineered the system in church today. Yes, sir. So he's selected in church now. Yes. So yes. God was just preparing him for such a time like this and also preparing you for such a time like this. Sir, wow, it, it, awesome. it, it, it marvels me sometimes. Sometimes when I'm at church and I get so lost in worship, sometimes I just want to kneel kneel on the ground and just get lost mm, in the presence. Mm, I remember mm. sometimes when I was... I remember one specific party I was at that club one night and I was so drunk I couldn't even come down the stairs. My Lord, I'm going to him back. <laughs> in that same building wow, so when I look today and, and, and I see that that is the same building wow. that I am giving that I'm just worshipping that is our place of worship today God mm -hmm. just awesome so entering that building now being that that building now is now a sanctuary because what people don't understand enough, the, the building is not the church the exactly. church the, the, the church is really us the people it's just a building and I tell people, you can't take a go-go club today and consecrate it and make it into a sanctuary tomorrow. But when you come into church, do you have any regret, any bad memories that you're coming up into the same building? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, sir. How do you I feel coming again, up in the building now? Not. Being, you know, for those of the viewers that used to party or are still partying, we know that there is a void somewhere. Mm -hmm. So even though you used to party, you used to drink, and you used to drunk, there is still a void that is longing to be filled. Mm -hmm. So you still had that little place mm -hmm, in mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. that, that is longing for something. Mm -hmm. Now when I enter into the building, the Spirit of the Lord is there that alone make the difference, sir. Amen, Sometimes, amen, amen, uh, amen. Just, amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. All right. So I know that you used we we used to conduct. Well, we kind of cool it off now because of what's happening right now, the whole pandemic. Mm -hmm. But we used to do a service that we call Barrier Breaker every Thursday. Yes, sir. And uh, um, that's where I first saw you because you used to visit Barrier Breaker, mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir. The, the fasting service, and um, we used to talk. You know, sometimes you'll come to the office if there's mm -hmm. any difficulties or any challenges, and you'll speak to me about it, and I will give you advice about. I didn't even have no idea that you would even become a member of the church and active on the worship team, worshiping. I didn't know none of that. So you come into Barrier Breaker, what was your intention? Was your intention to get saved or you just visit the church? And, and, and what led you to the church? Sir, I never come with an intention. I just came because it was a hot topic at the time. It, it is a hot topic, <laughs> not at the time. It I, was a no, hot topic. I, I, and know I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying, man. Because it yeah, was on religious heart talk. Yes, because we were on religious heart talk. So there was a right, big buzz and all right, the miracles, right, the blind right. eyes. So the... I wanted to see what this buzz was all about. Okay, okay. So I started to come. I started to come. And what I love most is, sir, I came as I was. And... <laughs> Nobody was judgmental of me. Definitely. When I when I got saved, I got saved with my piercings in, and that's how I came to church. And nobody was judgmental mm -hmm, of mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. And I can remember a lot of the times I was at the front, even in my unsaved state, and nobody now said, "Um, oh, but when the girl that wore marmot, must see something black inside." I I I, I never, never felt that. Never, never. Nobody never even ever said to me, um take it out and is that same barrier breaker service i was coming in the morning mm -hmm. and i'm gonna say no this don't look good and sir wow i don't know about nobody else but the way i made it idolize 
-hmm. my piercings. I never know that me and it could apart. So you had piercing where? In my tongue and other places. You see where like a, a tongue ring? That's yes, what they call sir. It, a yes, tongue ring. a tongue ring. Yes, sir. So I used to come, I used to come with it and that time my, my bleach was white. I had a girl up on the party scene, girl of a chrome. Well, I say, so they call it chrome. <laughs> All right, so you say you could see the, 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 the tongue ring. It was black. Yeah, so I made from sure a it was mile black. away. Because I don't want you to miss it. Wow, wow, wow. Yes. And you say it's a chrome, chrome in bleaching. <laughs> chrome. Yes, that's a color for a brown in a chrome brown. And that's exactly why I come to church. I come to church just as I was. And most time, even sorry, um, I realize even the old clippings on YouTube, mm -hmm. a lot of them clippings, I was a safe and I was right there in in a lot of the the, 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 the videos, sir, I was almost next to you, you know. Wow. And me never save, and nobody never shown me, nobody never run me. So you felt the love then? Yes. The love, and you feel welcome yes. at the church. Yes, yes. And yes. Um, you say it was a crew, it was, it was a meeting, a special meeting that got saved? Yes, sir. Remind me what happened. One remind night, me. one week, sorry, one week of meeting. Bishop, um, Bishop was on it. Bishop Prophet McLean. Campbell, Bishop Courtney McLean was on it. Prophet Ian Campbell. And a lot of other persons, sir. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, it's like I couldn't, I couldn't. At that time, you know, I was living with my baby father at the time, no husband. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't find no more excuse for say this are the excuses that me normally find. It's like I run out of excuse at night. Uh, I'ma just do it. Alright, so alright, so you do it that night, but. Yes. When you did it that night, um, did you explain to Marlon and say, honey, may I go to church, you know, may I go do this, I've been thinking about it for a while, I'm going to make this move. Was it planned or it was Sir, just spontaneous? absolutely not. Absolutely not. You know, normally when weeks are meeting, you come because you want to feel good there because some mm -hmm. about the presence of God here are like feel good. Amen, amen. Somebody just come because I come, see. I not come with no plans. And so when I left work the evening, I left work the evening just to stop because we have having a meeting. Mm -hmm. It was nothing planned. And when I did it the night, a little part of me was worried. What are you going to say when I go? Yeah. And when I went home the night and I said to him, I got baptized, he said, Liar, I tell a joke you make. But that time I was wearing locks, fast locks. Mm -hmm. And I said, him, him feel the hair and feel it wet. Mm -hmm. And sir, I'm not going to tell you that it was easy because that time we lived together. Mm -hmm. We lived together in the wow, same house. Wow, 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 wow. And how oh, oh, long after you guys got married? Okay, I got baptized the 21st of April 2016 and we got married July 26, 2016. Okay, the same year. The same year, yes. The same year. So guys, you see that powerful testimony by Tasha Lee Cooper, once party girl, bashman girl, bore up, chrome up, the whole world. <laughs> but now she's saying Jesus Christ and uh, she's a successful entrepreneur right and this is where we are today in all um, and what's the name of the plaza here again glendon court glendon court yes. plaza guys she's in glendon court plaza and she has a wonderful business all right so we're going to get into the business part we're going to look at the products that she have and we're just going to you know just show you the different items and stuff like that and i know you're going to be very interested because i myself would come and purchase stuff you know, only thing I always said to her, you need to sell some whole heap of man stuff. So she sell a lot. When are you going to sell some man stuff? Sir, I'm adding that. You're adding shortly, that? Shortly, shortly. My all next right. trip, I'll be adding. So, yes, you, so you travel, oh, so all your stuff are from overseas? Yes, sir. All her stuff is from overseas. All right, so you get the real authentic stuff from overseas. And we're going to definitely look at those stuff right now. And we're going to get into that part of the, the thing. But Tash, I want to say thanks. For allowing me to come to the store and to you know to feature the stuff and to talk to you you know in terms of sharing a testimony a lifestyle where you're coming from and all of that is a wonderful journey but I know that you are a multi-talented person so what, what else do you do 
oh, I am a certified makeup artist. I'm a certified nail technician. Mm -hmm. And I am a certified independent travel agent. So I book vacations. What? I book flights. What? I do all of that. that is my first The love. hotel and the whole thing. So yes. they want a full packet flight, hotel, everything, yes, rent yes. a car, you set up everything. Yes, sir. I can be found on Facebook, Tasha Lee Richard Scooper, on Instagram, Vash Mars. All right. And and, and when I show you the feature the store, I'm going to show you later on. It's not just products she's selling up. She actually says she's a nail tech, the whole thing. You can get your manicure, your pedicure, the whole works, everything is here. So we're going to show you that later. But guys, thank you for joining us on another vlog. This is Gali Gali Lifestyle featuring um Vashmars today. Amen. And we just want you to like, share, subscribe. Remember to hit the notification bell so when you upload a video, you never miss that other video. All right. And also comment below if you really love this video or if you have any questions or anything. Comment down below. Let us know. Peace. We are out. Catch you on the next vlog. Gotti Gotti Lifestyle. Peace.